Anthony Grasso here bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Upstart Holdings. Is this artificial intelligence lending platform company still that just went to the moon still worth investing in right now? Or should we put on the brakes and say, okay, hey, these are insane stock prices right now. Well, let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give up my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both the short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And and as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. So let's get right into it. So Upstart Holdings is a cloud-based artificial intelligence lending platform. The company's platform aggregates consumers' uh, demand for loans and connects it to a network of Upstart artificial intelligence-enabled bank partners, including itself. The company's AI models are provided to bank partners within a consumer-facing cloud application that streamlines the end-to-end -end process of originating and servicing a loan. Well, we'll get into that. Uh, the end end process, the company has built a configurable multi-tenant cloud application design to integrate with an API seamlessly into a bank's existing technology system. Its configurable platform allows each bank to define its own credit policy and determine the significant parameters of its lending program. Now, the AI models use and analyze data from all of its bank partners, uh, either through upstart.com or through a bank branded uh, uh, product on its uh, partners' websites. Now, let's go look at some news of the company right now. So recently, uh, Berkshire uh, Hills Bank Corp uh, partnered with AI lending platform Upstart. Now. Berkshire Bank is expanding their consumer lending options via a seamless digital experience enabled by Upstart's lending uh, platform and the Upstart referral network. Now, Berkshire became an Upstart lending partner back in August of 2021, and they're going to leverage Upstart's uh, artificial intelligence lending platform for personal loans right now to make better and faster risk-based credit decisions and improve um, more credit-worthy borrowers. In other news, uh, Upstart two weeks ago launched its first first auto retail software with AI-enabled financing. Now, Upstart Auto Retail is the evolution of Prodigy software acquired by Upstart in April 2021. Since beginning of 2021, the number of dealerships, also known as Rooftops, uh, signed up for the software uh, has nearly tripled. With the addition of Upstart-powered loans, dealerships will be able to instantly offer affordable financing to more of their customers. Now, let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company right now. Now, the current stock price is, is trading roughly all right $377 a share right now it has a current market capitalization of roughly 29.6 billion dollars with a total revenue in 2020 was around 241 million with a projected 2021 revenue to be 739 million with earnings of 83 million now, the projected revenue in 2023 will be approximately $1.3 billion with earnings of $144 million. So the earnings and revenue are expected to grow significantly over the next three years. But let's look at some of the evaluation models, you know, for the evaluation analysis. Now, because Upstart is in the consumer finance industry and has positive earnings, the PEG, the PE, and the price to book ratios are the most appropriate evaluation measures for the company. Now, the price to sales ratio is less instructive than the PEG or PE since the company has positive earnings. Therefore, Upstart seems highly valued with a PEG value of 6.61 times, one of the highest in the consumer finance industry. And also get this, their PE ratio is 588 times, the highest in the industry. Now, looking at the profitability analysis, although profit on an operating basis, Upstart appears to be an inefficient company. While its profitability is among the best on a gross margin basis, its bottom line, the net margin, is only is, is only in line with the consumer finance industry medium right now and looking at growth rates analysis earnings growth at upstart uh, outpaced revenue growth over the trailing 12 months this is a trend that is not sustainable if profits are to continue to grow at this rate however the results uh, was much better than that of the average company in the consumer finance industry and uh, financial strength analysis uh, upstart has little to no debt right now thus little financial risk so what do the analysts say let me bring it bring it bring it bring it back here so the analyst consensus right now is a moderate buy with four saying buy one saying hold and one saying sell 
The 12 month price targets of these six analysts have a range from six, uh, $350 to all the way down to $160 a share. Now, going over an analyst report that I found, the Ford Equity Research Project projects that Upstart will outperform the market over the next six to 12 months. Well, that, that's a little weird and I'll get into that. This projection is based on their analysis of three key factors of influence, common stock performance, earnings uh, strength, relative valuation, and recent price movement. The company has produced a positive trend in earnings per share over the past five quarters. And But let me focus on, that, uh, on the next statement from the Ford Equity Research. While recent estimates, this is what they say, while recent, recent estimates of the company have been mixed, Upstart has posted better than expected results. Then Ford goes on to say, based on operating earnings yield, the company is overvalued when compared to all of the companies they cover. Share price changes over the past year indicates that Upstart will perform very poorly over the near term. They are basically saying, hey, buy it, but don't blame us when it dips 30% off its current share price. They're basically warning, well, we're a buy, but we're, we're thinking it's going to perform really poorly uh, and it's overvalued. So if they think it's overvalued and it's performed very poorly, why are they keep saying it's, it's a buy? So my buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Upstart, here are my thoughts. I believe in today's trading market, certain keywords uh, drum up FOMO, which is fear of missing out. Investors hear artificial intelligence immediately say this will revolutionize the industry. Everyone will adopt it, and those who don't will be left out in the cold. But to view this company, we have to examine the core technology and regulatory environments that their lending partners are in. Right now, I see more adoption with this technology in the personal loan space, followed by, let's say, auto loans. And then, but the kicker is going to try to see where this goes into the mortgage industry. I don't think it's really going to be that successful immediately uh, in that. And they haven't attempted to do that yet. But first, let's look at the cost reduction at, at partner banks. This technology will cut out many underwriters, but not all of them, because 30%, uh, uh, 70% of the loans are fully automated. The other 30% are manually underwritten. You're always going to have to have manually underwritten loans. So it's going to cut out a lot of the underwriters, but it's not going to completely wipe them out. But let's say that uh, they also say it's an end to end platform for origination and servicing. I completely question the validity of that statement, and you should too. Complete end to end. There's so much regulatory requirements for servicing a loan, especially in, let's say, the mortgage market, and uh, certain statements that have to go out. There's a, there's a lot of regulatory red tape that have to be followed. So definitely question things you read. Now, the regulatory oversight alone from both the state and federal levels means each bank partner's platform has to be programmed correctly and must abide by strict regulatory requirements. Regulatory changes happen all the time, and this technology will constantly need to be reprogrammed to keep up. So I don't initially see end to end. I see partial modular adoption to take over a bank's underwriting decision for certain types of loans, like what Berkshire did on saying, okay, for our personal loans, we're going to take this technology and move it over here, modular to take over our personal loans. That's good. Now, looking at the stock price, the big question is whether Upstart has run too far too quickly. With a trading at a mind-blowing 580 times earnings compared to the U.S. market average of 17 times. This large gap isn't that surprising because the company's earnings have grown at a seven times the rate of the market over the past five years and accelerated over the past 12 months. The stock price has priced in future earnings and revenue to date. So let's assume the company uh, continues to grow at the 30% per year and maintains its current stock price of around $377 to $380 a share. It is ex still extremely overvalued, even in three, even in like three years. Estimates will have to rise substantially to justify the current price multiple. Yes, estimating future revenue and profits for this company, like Upstart, is very difficult, especially when the company has seen exponential growth in the past year. There are definite, there's definitely a wide range of possible future outcomes with Upstart. That's where it gives like the, hey, what's going to go on? My personal opinion is that Upstart will continue to gain market share, especially in the personal loan space, but find some resistance in the auto lending markets. I don't see any breakthroughs within the mortgage 
mortgage arena anytime soon. Now, I do believe that Upstart will outperform market expectations, but will banks adopt Upstart's technology or create AI platforms of their own or just uh, have licensing agreements with Upstart? If Upstart decides to license out their technology, uh, they will no longer be required to maintain regulatory requirements, but their bank partners would. But I doubt many large bank inst institutions would license the technology versus buying the technology or building their own uh, platform on their own. So based on everything, I am bullish on the company but I am a hold right now based on the stock price. For long-term growth investors out there, this company has already gone to the moon with its share price. Now, could it go higher? Sure, it could, but I see more downside risk with this stock over the next 12 to 12 to 18 months. I would keep this one on the watch list and buy when the stock price is more reasonable. My target stock price sustained over the next 12 to 18 months in the future is only about $250 a share. For short-term growth and uh, for short-term and options traders out there, Upstart would be a great company to trade the near-term swings. You can make a make a killing doing that. So there you have it, folks. Uh, as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. So until the next stock update later today, folks. Ciao.